everybody. Welcome back to another video. Um, this is going to be like a spend the afternoon with me. It is three o'clock. I'm just now starting the video. But me and Lucy literally just got home about 15 minutes ago from Branson. We had the best time. I have a mess of suitcases and souvenirs and laundry and all kinds of stuff to do. So I thought I would just take you guys with me while I unpack a few things and stuff like that. Um, we had such a good time and I'm sure over the next few vlogs and different times we'll tell you about it. Lucy, did you have fun? Yeah, I don't feel like it. She got sick. She got a little sick on the way home. I did say hi to Layla before I went in my room though. I hope you feel better. I get, just go over there and rest a little bit. I say hi to Layla. Okay, yeah, you had to say hi to Layla. Yeah, uh, we had such a good time though. Um, so if you missed it, I surprised her with a girl's trip to Branson. And she, she didn't know where we were going. We left um, Thursday afternoon. I told her we we're just going to go run some errands. We got Starbucks. And then I told her, and all of, by the way, all of this is on Instagram. I did not vlog this trip. So check out my Instagram stories. I have a highlight where you can go back and look at all the stories from our trip. Um, it's called like road trip or something. And I told her, we're not going we're not going on running errands. I'm taking you to a surprise. So we drove, it's about three and a half hours or so to our first stop where we ate at Lambert's. If you've never eaten at a Lambert's, it's so fun. They like throw rolls at you. <laughs> they call it home with the throw rolls. The food is so good. She had never been before. And so it was really fun getting to eat there. Um, I got a souvenir there, which are one of these cups that they're huge. Um, and they give you these at the restaurant to drink out of for your glasses and then you can buy them to take home so i got me a pink one and i got david a red one to bring home to him he was of course staying home with the boys taking good care of them while we were gone and then we got about 30 minutes after that or after we stopped 30 miles minutes ish down the road uh, we got to Branson. We checked in at our hotel. We stayed at the Stone Castle Hotel, which she just thought was so cool because the outside looks kind of like a castle. And um, we checked in, and they told her, okay, we've got you checked in for two nights. And she was like, Mom, we're we really going to stay here for two nights? She was so shocked. Uh, and then the next day, we got up, and we went shopping. We went to outlets. Um, it was kind of rainy, but we went to downtown Branson and did shopping. We shopped all morning and into the afternoon. And then I took her. The big reason while we were there is I took her to see the sight and sound production of Queen Esther. There are no words to tell you guys how amazing the sight and sound uh, plays are, productions are. It's incredible. Me and David saw Jonah many years ago, like eight years ago when we went to Branson on our like anniversary trip. I don't even think I was vlogging then. It was a long, it was like eight years ago, probably like right before I started vlogging. Um, me and David went to Branson and Lucy was just at like eight months old when we went, <laughs> um, probably closer to nine years. Anyway, crazy. We saw Jonah. We've seen a lot of the recorded like movies from the show but there's nothing like being there live it was incredible like Esther is one of my favorite bible characters and so seeing that was just so powerful I cried it was moving it was just oh there's so much I need to do like a Sunday video about just everything that I felt during it it was so powerful and then um we went to dinner at this um Italian place and we ended our night. Layla missed me so much. Yes, I know. I know you did. This morning we got up and headed home. And so Lucy woke up this morning and she just was like, I don't feel very good. And this is not abnormal for her. A lot of times she'll wake up kind of nauseous every now and then. She just has tummy sensitivity, especially in the morning. And so um, I asked her if she wanted to eat anything. They had great, by the way, if you ever stay at the Stone Castle, I think the best thing about it is they have a really awesome breakfast uh, bar, like hot food, and it was really nice. And I asked her if she wanted to eat anything, and she was like, no. But she ended up taking a few bites of some yogurt. And we got in the car. We probably weren't 30 minutes down the road, and it's very curvy. It's very curvy, all the roads we drove on today. And... Uh, she got sick like four different times in the car. It was not good. We kept having to stop and let her like try to re recover, rinse her mouth out, all of that. 
And so I don't know if it was just not eating and then the car sickness, she gets really bad car sick like I, I do. Is it that or is it some virus? I, I have no idea. I'm hoping that she feels better since we're back home and we're not moving around and all of that. But I'm hoping because tomorrow's church and like we have to go. Like I, There's no one that can do my job for me tomorrow. So like she'll have to come and sit in a back room or something if she's sick, which I don't want to happen. So anyway, I think it was just car sickness. She hasn't had any other symptoms except very much nausea. So that was kind of a bummer way to end our trip. But we had so much fun. Big shout out to my husband for holding down the fort here and being excited for us to go. I've been planning this. When I, it all started because when I got under 200 pounds back in like January or February, I wanted to do something fun with Lucy. And it started out, well, I just wanted to go to drive to Branson, seeing Queen and Esther and come home. And then the more I thought about it, I was like, what if we stay two nights and then got to experience more of Branson since we're already there. And so it just kind of grew to this bigger trip. And David has been so supportive through all of it. Like, yes, you need to go and all of that. And I really appreciate that. And of course, he took great care of the boys. I never worry at all. Like I never have to like when I leave the kids with anybody else, I make lists and schedules and, you know, but David is so hands-on. He knows all of it. He knows the routine. I don't have to, I just leave and he's totally got it covered, which is amazing. But anyway, I'm going to unpack. We have an Optavia box that got here while I was gone. So I thought I would do an Optavia haul. I would do a little bit of a souvenir haul. We didn't get a ton of stuff, um, but we did get a few things. So I'm going to show you guys the souvenir haul and then, um, the Optavia Hall, and then I'll just carry you guys around with me. David is about to leave here in an hour or so and go to the church and just make sure we're all set for Sunday. We have a guest speaker tomorrow, so he doesn't have to prepare his message or anything. He just has to kind of make sure the church is all ready to go. I am doing breakfast tomorrow for everybody, so he's picking up some groceries, a pickup order for me um, tonight. So I need to prep for that. All I'm doing is sausage biscuits, cinnamon rolls, like just the canned kind. And I'm going to make the frozen biscuits in the morning and cook some sausage. It'll be really easy. Wrap them up. I think I'm going to keep them on warm in the crock pot. And then um, I'm going to cut up a watermelon. I got some yogurt. Just like a very simple, kind of easy to throw together breakfast since we're just coming back to this afternoon. <sighs> but anyway... He is going to be doing that, so I'll be here with the kids, just trying to get laundry caught up and everything unpacked. So let me show you our little haul. Guys, my battery is very low, so I'm going to film what I can and then have to charge it real quick. Um, okay, so this isn't everything, but this is most everything. We got when we were shopping at the outlets. Lucy wanted a oversized hoodie just to be cozy. We found this on like clearance for fifteen dollars. I wanted one too, so I wouldn't have to wear my Santa Claus hoodie all the time. But the adult ones were like $35, and I just, I couldn't do it. So I'll have to keep looking for mine. But this one, we got her. And then we went to Claire's, and of course they had their buy three, get three deal. She got a cross necklace and cross earrings. And then I got the hoops that I'm wearing right now. So that was three of them. They look just like this, but they're gold. And then we also got the silver, some little pearls, and these skinnier hoops for her. So we got six pieces of jewelry for like $35, which I didn't think was terrible. Here's those cups we got at Lambert's um, from Sight and Sound. I wanted this mug. I thought it was so cute. It's a really good size, Queen Esther. And then I also got an ornament, a Christmas ornament that looks exactly like this. Um, but I already put it away in our Christmas tub outside. And then she got a small little stuffed uh, elephant from Sight and Sound and a pencil. She wanted a pencil. So she got a Queen Esther pencil. And then we went to this Branson souvenir shop and she found a Clarence like tie-dye brand. Just put the one she was just wearing when you saw her. Um, it was like eight bucks. We got her that. So she got lots of souvenirs from our trip. And then at the Branson general store, she found this cup. It's one of those like snack slash drink cups. And she got that too. So that was our little souvenir haul. Um, I'm going to try to get through the Optivia box without this dying. We'll see. I had to take a little break and charge my camera, but I got it all charged. So I'm going to show you guys what we got this month. This one's a little bit different because of my new obsession with making lattes. So you will definitely be able to tell that. Um, man, I just dumped out. 
I got two boxes of the creamy vanilla shake. David likes to put those in his morning coffee and I can make lattes with them too. Brownie, we always get a brownie. I got two of the chocolate puddings, my husband's favorite. Got a chocolate shake. Creamy double peanut butter crisp bar. We haven't gotten this one in a while and we both really like it. I don't know why we haven't gotten it because it's really good. The campfire s'more bar. I also really like this one, the caramel delight. And I got two boxes of the peanut butter chocolate chip. That one is my favorite. I love those. Okay, so they're out of the crunchers right now. I hope they get them back in stock. So I had to get some pretzels instead. I got the cinnamon sugar sticks. And then, oh, I'll just drop that. And then I also got the honey mustard and onion pretzel sticks they've been that this one just came back it was out of stock sometimes they put stuff out of stock and like reformulate it or whatever i don't know if that's what happened with this but the crunchers both of the crunchers are out of stock the smoky barbecue and the zesty cheddar and i miss them so much we also got both of the cereals these like ready to go things like the cereal, the bars, the pretzel sticks. They're just so convenient to put in your bag when you're busy. And we have a lot of busy stuff coming up. So I try to get really portable stuff. So cinnamon O's as well as the mixed berry O's. And then I got three of the caramel macchiato shake mix this is my favorite to make lattes with i could have one of these every single day i love them so much so i got three boxes of those so that david and i can have all the lattes we want we have a bunch of potatoes left so i only got one box of the sour cream and sour cream and chive mashed potatoes and then i got cheddar biscuit is always one of my favorites so that is my little Optavia Hall. Um, I will see you guys back. I've got laundry going and I think I'm going to take like a nice hot bath while I'm waiting on that. So I'm going to first put all of this away. Guys, I thought I would show you how it all looks now that I got it all organized. We actually have a lot because I ordered a little bit earlier than normal uh, because we needed more of those shakes and we were also low on bars. So we are super duper stocked up. There's all Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi, buddy. Are you are you happy mommy's home? Yeah, but I got baby. He got a boo-boo and his scab came off and he's so upset. But it's okay. It's going to heal. I'm just like you. You're showing them all your boo-boos? Yeah. When you fell and scraped your knee. I like the boo-boos a lot. A lot of bandits. Do band-aids help? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Mark does not like when he scrapes his knee, do you? Yeah. Makes he, him upset. And he gave the nanny and he got a lot and I hurt. And it hurt. And a lot of people got hurt. Everybody got hurt and way down. And they all got hurt? Who yeah. got hurt? Everybody got hurt. Who got hurt? Everybody. Everybody. All I know is you scraped your knee like a week ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. Aspen did. Aspen did too. Yeah. Your your cousin. Yeah. Oh man, we gotta be careful, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So all of our bars. These are all of our mashed potatoes. These are all of our baking mixes and pudding and yeah. cheddar biscuits and oatmeal and brownies and cookies and stuff like that. Um, all of the shakes are here and they are overflowing as I got. Thank you, because I got uh, so many this time, so I just have backup. I'll refill when we get low, and then all of our like cereals and pretzels and stuff. So I'm gonna go put this in our room, and we are very, very nicely stocked. Like I thought you guys might like to see my latest secret sister gift. Um, I got this like the day we left, so I didn't, I wasn't blogging that day, so y'all didn't get to see this, but it was so nice, and I hadn't unpacked it yet. And put it away so I thought I would show you guys so it came in this big bag which I love these bags for like groceries or whatever 
we'll definitely be using it for that. And then her card said that she heard about our summer bucket list and she wanted to help us get ready for summer. So she gave us a picture. I always need more of these. And one of our bucket list items is making homemade lemonade. We've done that the last few years. The kids love making homemade lemonade. So that'll be perfect. One of our other bucket list items is popcorn or movie night. So she gave us these cutie popcorn buckets. Frisbee. We don't have these. The kids love this kind of stuff, like the catch game. And then one of our other bucket list items is ice cream night. So we got five of these little ice cream bowls. They're so cute with little ice cream spoons. And then she always gives me the best um, drink water enhancers. Those are really good. This thing for the kids, paddle board thing, paddle ball. And then these little mini easels. This is so cute. I think these would be fun to like have as um, like at church. I know that's probably not what she get, but like at church for like our breakfast and stuff to like write what's on, what's in each dish. But like, you know, breakfast casserole, yogurt or whatever. <laughs> I think it would be cute. There's so many things you could do with these, but she gave me two sets of those. So cute. And then look how cute this little notepad is. Sweet summertime. So anyway, I just thought you guys might like to see. And then of course a really sweet card. I have the best secret sister. I have no idea who she is. Um, and I've gotten a lot of questions. Hold on. Oh, I forgot. I have another box of shakes over here. Um, I always get a lot of questions when I post anything about my secret sister, either the, who I have and I give stuff to or who has me and I get stuff from her. I get so many questions about it. So let me try to address the questions I get the most. I have her for the whole year, so we will find out in December, after all year of this, <laughs> who she is, and then who has, who I have, we'll find out that, yeah, everybody, it'll be revealed at the end of the year. There is no guidelines on, like, how many times you're supposed to give them gifts. It's just up to whoever, whenever you want to. There's no really requirements on what or how. We did get a sheet that told us, like, our her favorite things and stuff she enjoys and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I guess that's really it. Um, most of the time people ask, like, how long is this going to be? When are you going to find out? Are you ever going to find out? <laughs> Which is always so funny to me because, like, how terrible would that be if we had a secret sister and we never found out who she was? It's like this mystery person. But no, in, like, another six months, <laughs> I will know who she is. And I'm really looking forward to knowing who she is because she is so thoughtful. She's always so thoughtful about getting me stuff for the kids and she's always so encouraging in her notes and she's always telling me you're such a great mom and you're doing such a good job and you know moms we need to hear that we all need to hear it because we doubt ourselves and we're our own worst critic and we always think we can do things better and she always is so uplifting to me and always get stuff for the kids. Like in every single, if you've ever seen the gifts she gives me, you've seen. She always gets stuff for the kids, which is the way to my heart, you know. So anyway, I think I'm going to go take a nice hot bath. And I'll see you guys back. It's so weird. As soon as we got back into Arkansas, I started getting um, a dry throat again. I, I swear there is something here that I just do. I felt like this. And then we left on our trip and I felt fine. And now, just being here a couple hours, my throat is very scratchy. So, I don't know. I don't know what, what it is, but I am not adjusted to it yet after being here over a year. I just have had, I don't know, I just have allergies. So, I'm going to put this stuff away and I'm going to get a hot bath and I'll see you guys later. Guys, it is now the end of the night. I've really been trying to drink a lot. My throat is not well and then I started getting chills and like feeling really cold I don't think I have a fever but I'm wondering if Lucy and I are coming down with something it's just weird that our symptoms are so different she has like bad stomach ache I have a very bad sore throat and it just came up like randomly when we got home of course hers came up a little before we got home um she's been able to keep food down since we've been back but she just feels like 
kind of nauseous. So she she hasn't eaten much. She did eat a cheese quesadilla, and she was able to keep that down. Um, but she just keeps saying her stomach is like cramping, and she feels nauseous. So <laughs> there's that. We have church tomorrow, so I may have to keep her with me or something in the sound booth if she's still continuing to be sick. But we have to go. I have to be there. And we gotta push through until we can get home tomorrow afternoon. I'm doing breakfast. So David picked up my groceries. And of course, Walmart was out of watermelon. And that was the fruit I was gonna serve because we're out of apples. I normally have apples and oranges at church and then we'll use them till they run out because they last a while. But we ran out last week. And so I was like, oh, that's fine. I'll just cut up a watermelon. That makes a lot, you know? And they had watermelon on sale for like less than $5. Well, Walmart was out of it. So I called David. I'm like, I really don't want to have to make you go to another store, but and he's like, I don't mind. So he swung by the Walmart neighborhood market and they had just a couple watermelons left. So he was able to get one. I just sliced it up, got it getting cold in a bowl in the fridge. Um, we just got the kids to bed. I'm going to try to get some rest while I can. It's really good to be home, but I am tired and just not feeling good. I'm so glad we, we felt okay during our trip. Thankfully, we didn't feel sick. That would have been terrible. But I don't know, something. And my voice kind of went out for a second, and Nate came up to me, and he said, oh, no. First dad, then you? <laughs> I was like, I, I'm, I'm okay, because David, I don't know if I told y'all, but he had laryngitis a few days ago. Um, while we were at his mom and dad's, his voice was almost completely gone. <laughs> we went to this restaurant and he was trying to order, um, some food and she could not understand him because <laughs> he was so, uh, his voice was so bad. Um, Nate did not like it. He does not like it when any of us lose our voice. It just bothers him. But anyway, I didn't lose it. I just, I don't know. I just don't feel that great. So I'm going to try to rest. I'm going to get up in the morning and like I said, I'm doing sausage biscuits, but it's literally so easy. I'll just put the biscuits straight in the oven. I'll get my griddle out, brown up the sausage patties, put them in some foil. Like I'll make the biscuits, you know, wrap each one in foil. And then I'm going to put it in my crock pot on warm. I've Googled this and apparently everybody says it should work or it has worked for them. Just keeping sausage biscuits warm in a crock pot. They have to hold for a couple hours by the time I cook them and then everybody eats them. So I'm hoping it'll all go okay. And then when we get to church, I got a couple of cans of cinnamon rolls to stick in the oven. Like I said, we're keeping this super easy. I was just going to buy some like pre-made cinnamon rolls, but they were so expensive. So I just thought canned ones it is. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I love you guys. Thank you all for hanging out with me this afternoon. Oh, and also I got all of my laundry done all the boys laundry from when we were gone and all of our laundry from our trip we got it done in like two loads so that's good and i got most everything unpacked except one toiletry bag right here so i will get that done tomorrow as i'm getting ready i'll probably can just unpack it so anyway i love you guys if you like today's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below definitely subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys next time Bye.